in this direction. I mean, you want me to hire Jared Bates because to keep him out of his hair. You, you know, he's already causing problems. You know, he's hovering, he's micromanaging. Nash finally almost got to own his dream that he had before we ever even met, and now he has to deal with some idiot partner. I'm just trying to give my husband a break. Okay, why don't you just hire him with the sun? You know, that hell of a lot more hot there than I have here. Oh, he doesn't know anything about journalism. And he knows more about business? Well, Tom would break with shreds. And I'm such a pussycat. I mean, come on, just we're talking about me here. This is my job at stake. I would do anything to protect that. And I can be a real bitch, you know that. Oh. But you can also be really kind and generous. And uh, be please just do me this favor? No. No. Jess, I would do anything for you, and you know that, but this just doesn't make any sense. And I don't see how it benefits anyone. <sighs> Can't you just trust me? I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't really, really important to me. If it's really, really important to you, why don't you give me the real reason? Because I still don't believe you. Okay, all right, all right, I'll tell you. Jared is blackmailing me. <sighs> And if I don't give him what he wants, then he's going to send him to prison. Hey, is this okay? You just want to be alone. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 it's fine. No, but aren't you all shit? Why don't you know, take a little break? But between the three of us, I want to have a much more important job. So, you know, next to me. Uh, not a job. Okay. I'm taking over for Chris, bringing in new talents. How awesome is that? Wow, I had no idea Chris was looking for that. Yeah, well, you know. So, when can I move in? I'm free tonight. Don't push it, Sarah. What? I thought this was all good. It's my apartment and my decision. Alfredo hasn't even moved out yet. I don't know if I ever want you to live with me. Hey. Are you sure? I made it myself. You know, to the average Joe, it's not for about 20 bucks, but uh, for Lindsay's high hat lawyer, I'll give it to you for 15. I'm not a lawyer on her, so. <sighs> oh man, I must have been asleep at the bar. Kind of embarrassing. Um, what do you have for 10? I'm sorry, but you're all there. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're all here to show our support. That's right. And who knows? I mean, maybe when the judge sees how many people are on Lindsay's side, it'll be more linear. You know, maybe there's uh, something we can do to even the odds a little. That young man has enough of a struggle ahead of him without being lied to. His last living member of his immediate family is about to be sentenced to life in prison, and you're telling him she can beat the rap. So I take it you're going for remand. Yes, of course I am. I don't have a choice, and you knew that. Oh, and no one's buying that promise of yours that I'll keep an eye on her. RJ, we all know she had help when she broke out of Statesville a few years ago. Oh, don't be giving me that innocent look. You're just lucky that nobody checked into that whole farce. And don't be making matters worse by trying it again this time. You don't even have a trial date set, and you got it convicted. I've seen all the evidence. You know, Lindsay is lucky that the justice system leaves it up to a jury. The jury's going to see the evidence. <laughs> Another overconfident district attorney. You know, and you always underestimate the goodwill of the people. You know, it's like you said, RJ. This is about justice, not yes. public relations. Public relations is a part of everything. Life, politics, the law, and about 15 minutes, you're going to feel its power when this courtroom is filled to the brim with Lindsay supporters. It's not going to make that cheap difference. Oh, well, I think it will. I mean, unless you have your own slogan sporting cheering section. Hmm? Uh, I don't see anybody out there demanding justice for Spencer. Look, no matter what you think, Todd, you have to know that he, he would do anything for his children. They mean everything to him, so please. Please help him get his son back. You know, you'll be helping him with things too. Because if this keeps dragging out, it's just going to be more painful for them. And, and, it, and most importantly, you're going to be free. And you'll have a chance to redeem yourself for all the pain that you caused Matthew and Gold. 
doesn't matter what happens to me. Please, will you just think of that and stop? There's a chance that the judge may rule for the big bangs. And then say that Todd's unfit. He's an unfit father and he could lose Jack and Todd. Thank you. 